What's up guys, we're here, welcome back to another video. So today is going to be something a little bit different. I'm going to show you guys some settings on OBS. Uh, all the time I've searched some settings on YouTube and on Google. Uh, good settings for bad PCs basically. So here it is. I'm going to show you the settings for a bad to really, really bad computer. So just pause the video whenever you want and just copy the files. Well, I mean copy the settings here and just have fun. Encoder 264 is ticked. UCBR is on tick. Quality balance 10, 1000 bit rate, buffer size of zero, use it customly. Uh, put a barrier of 320. Then the broadcast settings, put it whatever you want. Uh, you choose your graphics card. If you have two, choose one or the other, or choose both. I think I don't actually, I don't think you can use both, but you choose one. Um, put it on 1920 by 1080p. This is the resolution of your screen. And this is this is gonna downscale it to the resolution you want as a video. So when you record the video that's gonna come out, it's gonna be in 720p. Uh, put it 60 FPS if you want. If you don't want, well, just keep it as this way. Uh, when you're done with everything, just click and apply. On audio, use the mic you want to use and just leave this on default. It's always good. Hotkeys, put whatever you want. I put in F9 to restart recording, F10 to start recording. And on advance, just pause it right here and copy this because this is really really hard to explain but I can explain here for the uh, 264 preset uh, the higher you go slower is really really good quality but makes your computer lag really hardcore and uh, when you go down it's gonna be like less good quality and your computer won't even feel it so just if you have a bad computer just play between virtual fast and super fast you can go very fast if you deal with it um, and also when you change you're gonna tell you that it might harm your CPU so just watch out don't abuse it because uh, it can really destroy the whole PC and fry it so this is not very really fun and when you're done with everything everything just click apply and this should be good enough I'm just gonna tell you also go test it out if you're not happy with it just come back and change everything or go look at videos and try to understand OBS because it's kind of a hard program to understand but once you get to it, it's, it's a really, really good app. Uh, if you guys have some other uh, settings that you or things that should add, remove, just leave it in the comments below. It's going to help me out and it's going to help everybody else out. Uh, so yeah, well, thanks for watching and i see you guys next time. Uh, peace out.